Hi, I'm Exa, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. When you bring together gardening and DIY, the creativity has endless possibilities. This is a pot that I made from pavers. Probably one of the easiest things you can make with a few simple steps and a few basic tools from your local builders. Have a look. And here's what you'll need. Five 440 by 440 millimeter pavers, fastcrete, four large clamps, a bucket, a trowel, as well as a scraper and a sponge. The first step is to pour fastcrete into the bucket, add a small amount of water and mix it with the trowel until you get a yogurt-like consistency. Now just make sure that you don't make it too runny, otherwise it's going to seep out through the edges of the join. And I'm happy with that. Guys, this is a very easy build. Just make sure that you build it very close to where you want to put it, because once built, it gets quite heavy. Now I've chosen this location because the direct sunlight is very ideal for the plant that I'm going to use. Arrange the pavers and then using a trowel, apply the fastcrete onto the inside edge of each paver. I'm using a sheet of ply to keep the area neat and avoid any spillage. It also gives me a level surface to work on. Now, it's time for the quick assembly. Now that's a two-man job, so I've asked Kevin to give me a hand. I can then line it up by forming a butter joint at every corner. Hold it up, make sure your corners are square, then clamp it. Careful not to over tighten the clamps because you run the risk of breaking the pavers. The clamps are merely to hold it together while it sets. Put one clamp on either side until you have all four clamps holding up the pavers in place. I'll apply the fast screen onto the top edges of all four pavers, making sure to put the mix on the edge close to the inside, then place the paver on top. I don't need to clamp this, the weight of the paver will hold it down. Then using a trowel, neaten up the edges, then clean up using water and a sponge. Technically, this build is done and fastcrete sets in 30 minutes. However, I'm gonna leave it for a day or two to cure properly. So the fastcrete has cured. We don't have to worry about putting any holes in the base. The water will find its way through the gaps. So we can now remove the clamps and flip this over. And then using a paint scraper, remove the excess fastcrete. The last step is the joy of planting. Remember not to fill the potting soil all the way up to the top. So when you water it, it doesn't overflow. Now all it took was five pavers and some fast creeds and I was able to make this beautiful pot for my plants. This is definitely something you can do in your own spare time. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.